Acknowledged. Welcome aboard, Captain. The bridge is the command and control center of the Starship Enterprise. Many of the ship's functions can be controlled from this location. The communication station is used to open a channel to a planet, ship, or Starfleet Command. The main function of the op station is to view records in the ship's computer. At the op station, the computer can look up information on spacecraft, celestial bodies, and general history. An analysis of the current mission can also be viewed. The con is the helm of the Enterprise. At the con, a course and speed are plotted for a destination planet. Regional planetary information can also be selected and displayed. The conference lounge is a meeting room for greeting visitors. The tactical station is the area for defending the Enterprise in case of attack. The tactical station controls offensive and defensive maneuvers, phaser fire, and the launch and dispersal of photon torpedoes. Control of this station can be delegated to Lieutenant Worf. The turbo lift provides access to other parts of the ship, including engineering, the hollow deck, and the transporter room. In engineering, the ship's power levels are adjusted and repairs of damaged systems are conducted. Control of this station can be delegated to Lieutenant Commander LaForge. The holodeck is the area to review mission films previously stored in the ship's library. The transporter room is the location for assembling an away team. To be successful, an away team must have a proper blend of talents for the mission at hand. Before beam down, the away team must be equipped with appropriate gear for the mission. When the away team is ready to go, the mission will then commence. Suggestions, number one. I'm sorry, Captain, I don't have any suggestions right now. Receiving an emergency transmission from Simcoe 4. Simcoe 4? Isn't there a research center there? Yes, sir. The work at Merton's orbital station focuses on power generation. The researchers there are among the best in the Federation. On screen. This is Captain Jean-Luc Picard of the Federation Starship Enterprise. How can we be of help? Captain Picard, I am Dana, Chancellor of Simcoe. We are in need of immediate assistance. Merton's orbital station has been attacked by an unknown vessel and does not answer our hails. Attacked? But the station is a purely scientific facility. Is the attacking vessel still present? We do not know. 
whoever or whatever they were, our sensors did not detect them. Perhaps it was a cloaked Romulan vessel. I doubt the Romulans would venture this far into Federation territory. The risks are too great. Captain, you must hurry. The attack has destabilized the station's experimental power core. We don't know how long we have until a core breach. But I can tell you the resulting energy release and radiation would be catastrophic. What about survivors? Did anyone get off the station? We detected several escape pods, but we haven't recovered them yet. The pods we detected could hold only a few dozen. There are hundreds aboard the station, including families. Set course for Simcoe 4. I hope it's not too late. Thank you, Captain. I hope you arrive in time. We'll do our best. The guard out. Dr. Crusher? Crusher here. Doctor, we may shortly be taking on a large number of wounded, possibly hundreds. How much time have I got? Not enough, I'm afraid. The card out. Miss LaForge? Yes, Captain. We're en route to Merton's orbital station. They've been attacked, and they're going to need immediate assistance. See what you can find out about their experimental power core. I'll see what I can dig up, but the Simconians do some advanced work. It may take a while to figure it all out. Then I suggest you work quickly. Millions of lives on the planet's surface may be at stake. I expect a full analysis of the situation and our options as soon as we're within sensor range. Yes, sir. Engage. system in response to a distress call regarding Merton's orbital station. The station was apparently attacked by unknown forces, leaving it in danger of a power core bridge. We're within sensor range of the Merton's orbital station, sir. On screen. Miss LaForge? LaForge here. Report. What is the condition of the station? You're looking at what's left of the Merton's orbital station, one of the largest research centers in the Federation. The focus of their work is on power generation. Five years ago, they built the prototype of an experimental power core, and it's been running the station ever since. Power generation studies? That doesn't warrant an assault like this. I've been in contact with Starfleet headquarters. Power generation is only part of what this station studies. For several years, researchers here have been working on new ways to detect cloaked vessels. If the Romulans discovered this, they might have risked a raid. The Simconians did not detect the attacking ship. It may have been cloaked. That's speculation, Mr. Wolf. We have no proof the Romulans were involved. Well, whoever it was, something powerful punched through the station's shields and sliced off an entire research wing. What do you mean, sliced off? There is insufficient debris in the area to indicate that the missing section was destroyed. It is possible the attackers simply removed it. Geordi, could that be what destabilized the power core? No, and that's what I can't figure out. Damage to the upper deck should only cause minor problems, but I'm reading serious power fluctuations. Maybe serious enough to breach the power core's containment field. What will happen if the containment field fails? I can't say for certain, but with the amount of energy that thing can put out, I wouldn't want to be around it when it goes. Is there any way to shut down the core? There's a fail-safe mechanism which is supposed to jettison the core automatically in an emergency. I'd say this qualifies as an emergency. Why wasn't the core jettisoned? The only way to prevent it is by manual override. Someone has to be there to stop it. That means there's someone still alive in there. Data, are you picking up any life signs? The station's shielding is interfering with our sensors. I cannot tell if any of the crew are still alive. However, life support is still functioning. But power readings indicate that it may fail at any time. Dr. Crusher. Crusher here. We are nearing Merton's station. Are you prepared for casualties? My staff is ready to do double shifts. 
We can handle about 330 emergency cases, but we'll have to beam the rest down to Simcoe. Understood. Hmm. What is your recommendation? We can't do anything from here, but to get an away team aboard, we have to find a way through those shields. I believe I have a solution. The station's upper shields are badly damaged. If we establish a lock on a transporter on the upper decks, a transporter beam could penetrate the weakened shields. Once we're in, we should be able to jettison the power core. Then we can lower the station's shields and evacuate the wounded. Very well, number one. Make it so. Jordy, I want you and the rest of the away team ready to go in 20 minutes. We'll be there in 10. Primary core access enabled. Systems online.